Hey guys, it's Nigel here, and today I'll be explaining three easy steps that you can take to see more conversions in your Google Ads account. These steps are crucial if you're seeing really poor conversions across the board on Google, as well as if you just wanna increase conversions. So let's hop straight into it here. First step is to check Google Analytics. So is this a Google Ads problem with conversions, or is this a problem across the board? whether that be on your website, through your socials, through your email, uh, are you not seeing conversions just in Google ads or is it across the board? Now, let me show you exactly how you can do this. So once we are on the homepage of Google analytics, we will go to conversions at the bottom left, multi-channel funnels, and then go to the model comparison tool. And you guys can change the dates you want to see here. So for instance, let's just go last week to when this video was uploaded. And instead of last interaction, you actually want to click last Google ads click here. This will attribute more conversions to your paid search campaign because it's tracking the last click someone goes through on the actual Google ad. So we can see we had 20 direct conversions for last week recording this video for one client of ours five conversions for a paid search, uh, four conversions for referrals. So this could be through email or if you have your website in your Instagram bio, something like that. Uh, organic search as well. That's very similar to direct. But you can see here, if we aren't seeing any conversions with our paid search, but we are seeing conversions with direct or referral or organic, that means that our landing page is set up correctly. It just might mean that your conversion tracking isn't set up correctly. So please watch this video up here uh, to properly tr place your tracking tags for conversions. Uh, it is unbelievably important to actually track your conversions properly so that Google knows what it's doing and you're not throwing a bundle of money into a pit of flames. So once we look at our analytics account and if we don't see conversions through direct traffic or organic search or Google ads, that means that our landing page probably isn't set up properly. It doesn't take the user through a qualified sales funnel. So you need to make sure that your website is being optimized for Google in order to get those conversions. Number two is you need to check these two core metrics in your Google ads account which is top impression share and click-through rate. So top impression share means, are your ads actually placing at the top of the page when someone searches? So for example, digital marketing agency, is your marketing agency landing in the top three if that's what you're bidding on? Uh, this is super important to make sure, you know, your ads are reaching as much people as possible, as well as with click-through rate, how many people viewing your ad are actually clicking on it? So we say nowadays we want a click-through rate of above 7% and we want a top impression share of over 50%. So what does that mean? It means that 7% of people viewing our ads are actually clicking on our ads for the click-through rate and 50% of the time our ads are placing in the top four sections of Google. Those are two huge components when you want to increase conversions. Number three is as simple as review, test, and optimization checks. It really can't get as simple as that. You need to know what should be done every 48 hours, 72 hours, every week, month, 90 days. And how you can do that is by actually clicking the link at the bottom of this video to download our Google Ads checklist. My team and I, we use this checklist every single day to make sure that our campaigns are optimizing at their max potential. So let me show you what this Google Ads optimization checklist looks like. You can get your own copy of this checklist just by clicking the link in the bio, completely free. Um, you'll see, you know, keyword search review, how often you should be doing these checks every 72 hours, every week, every month, every 90 days. And we also give you room to make optimization notes. So what does this week look like compared to last week? Um, you'll also be able to do ad review, when you should be doing ad review, quality score components, bid optimizations, conversion action checks, location targeting, campaign goal settings, quality control and recommendations tab, when these tasks should be performed accordingly. And as well, if we're running shopping campaigns, we'll see the tasks we should be performing as well. That's it guys, super quick video today. If I missed anything, please let me know. 
Uh, you can reach out to me on Instagram. My handles are at the bottom left of the screen there. At Nigel Guile is my personal. And at GOS underscore advertising is the agency's account. If you send me a message, I will certainly get back to you. Please make sure to download that Google Ads checklist. There's really no cons in downloading that. It'll help you guys out. And it's completely free. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you. Feel like the Nero on Casino. Louis suit got me looking like Pacino. Got the goose and it's chilling on the ice. What you spent? Me the girl got a blowing on the dice. Ooh.